Good day everybody, uh, I hope you're all well. Um, I'm coming back today with another episode of Stranded Deep, um, but this time we're going to look at the cartographer and make a map. Um, I've had a few people ask me um, if I would do a map where we look at in depth um, how I make them and what I do, what my techniques are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend a couple of episodes probably going through um, making a large map, um, really detailed. Um, and at the end, I'll probably put that on Steam, uh, on the Steam discussion page. Um, so I hope you like it. There's going to be two episodes, of, like I just said, but um, I'm obviously not going to be able to put all this into just two episodes. So there will be some time lapse in there as well. Um, but I'm going to show you everything, every method that I do. So uh, let's get straight into it when this loads up okay you can see i've got um a few a uh, few islands already that i've made um i do actually do this quite often um and you can see a few of them here um version 9 i think there's one that's like version 16 or 17 or something i spent a real long time on island there yeah um but we're going to go into a, a brand new island here we are so yes the first thing that i do is i go in and i select um take just a little area like this and i lower this down just a bit just to make sure that i got that uh set that there okay and then i put the amount right up and put the size right up zoom back out <coughs> and i make the whole tile let's actually make it there we go make the whole thing as big as you can so it's just a square under the water okay and then I just like to go into the uh, thing and just make sure that that's all done around the edges everything's tight okay then I put the ocean back up uh, and change the time a little bit so we can see a little bit more without that glare okay so the first, the second thing that I want to do here is um, take the size right down, take the amount right down. Uh, so leave the size up a little bit more. I'll leave it there, and then I just want to come in and raise a little bit up, just a tiny bit. That's a little bit too much. Just want it there. There we go, and then select that area with the height tool and spread this out so it's basically to the edges so just leave a little gap is what I like to do um, so I'm, I'm going for quite a, a flat lying island in this one um, with some big rocky outcrops let's say um, I'm not really going for a mountainous terrain or anything like that um, I do like to take that right to the edges on the corners so we have much so we have as much um, area to work with as possible because I like these I like the small um, shallow increments up to the shore and then you'll see you'll see <laughs> So um, the next thing I do is take that here and I raise it up a little bit more again. Make the height a little bit bigger. There we go. Just like that. Just so it's just on, just over the water. Just above the water even. Um, so to about there that'll do. Because I'm going to lower it again anyway. Uh, and then then I'll focus. Um, I'll take this right down. Um, which bit should I do first? We'll do we'll do the outside. So what I do on the outside is um, I take this, lower it just a little bit, and a little bit more than that. Really. Whoops, maybe not so much. Uh, let's actually go into water and have a look. So say about mm, yeah, say about there, I think. That's smaller. So. Let's make it even smaller just to make sure. So about 
the yeah that'll do. Okay, and then come back up <coughs> and this took me a long time to work out how to do it like quite well because it always looks really bad. Um but it's just a case of um going through it a few times possibly. Uh you'll make it quite a lot bigger. Turn the amount down. About that big. So I'll just do this over the edge. And you can see that it makes this kind of effect here. Now hopefully the aim is um do this all around the edge and have it just creeping in but take this line here out um, so let's go through and do that and you do you want it could because the way this works because um, of the view distance and that it's such a large area and this is why I've, I've done time lapses in the past because it takes such a long time to do this and to make it look effective um, that it can get, I mean, quite boring just watching me do this all the time. So I might put some of this in time lapse um, because that's the basics of it. You just want to bring it down to that sort of height, maybe make it uniform all the way if you can, but no, uh, you don't have to because after I've done this around the whole edge and made it look random and not like a square you can see that will start you know once I've done it up this end too um, then I'm going to go over right over to this edge and bring it down um, bring this down so you can't so it goes I don't know another 20 feet or so so um, so I'll crack on with that and I'll come back when I'm done Okay, <clears throat> so once I've done that all the way around, um, I go into the smooth tool and go back to the smooth brush, uh, set it as large as possible, set the amount quite low. I mean, you're talking about that, that much really. Um, and then just go over the whole thing a couple of times. Um, and then we'll go down and have a look at it and hopefully that'll be all right. Uh, just trying to get this brush down. Right, so, there we go. Uh, so there you can see it's not. Um, we're going to smooth this over quite a few times as we progress through the levels, um, but it's looking it's looking all right at the moment. Um, and then it should sort of just taper off a little bit more, and a little bit more. As you come to the edge of the tile okay there we go it's quite you know it's nice nice and shallow nice nice places for coral to go um, and the next step is then to just take the edge um, we want to go to lower and keep the amount just notch it up a little bit put the size up yeah quite a bit and a little bit smaller to about there and then we just want to lower and put the amount up a little bit more lower this edge just so you can't just so it blends really it's kind of like art you just kind of in a very abstract way you're blending the colors together um, just like that all the way around and that's literally what you do so I'll snip back into time that's why we do that and if you can see I'll just show you quickly here what you're doing is just you know raising that so it drops off a little bit more that, that just means that you've got some places in the future to um, put some shipwrecks wrecks down that are going to be actually quite deep enough. You've got some deep water to fish in when you're actually playing the game. Um, and 
it just helps with the aesthetic look as well so it helps the tiles me merge together that's also a bonus so just sort of do this all the way around and of course you can you can um you can take the uh, i like to keep the water on just to see where the level is but you can take that out and just um where is it there we go just sort of do that just do that all the way around just so it's kind of you know a bit random but pretty much level just just like that so I'll crack on with that. And there we go <clears throat> okay so yeah it still looks like a square <laughs> the next step is to go through well I said the next step but this is what I do um, and um, do this step again pretty much but do it with the lower tool and um, go into this tool this brush uh, so the size up a little bit more a little bit less up there um, and then just really randomize the edges um, that a bit more. You know, really get in there and shape it you see this is it's gonna you have to smooth this over again at the end but um, this is I can't just do this um, not not to a massive extent because I haven't started on the island yet I'm just doing the, the shoreline basically um, but I want to keep as much as this of this land like square as possible for the for the time being so I can work with rock structures and caves possibly okay we're gonna do caves um, and then um, and then I'll look at the shoreline more and say okay what works here um, what can I do can I make a beach here do I want like a rocky sort of outcrop and a, and a drop off into the waves or something like that so um, I guess it's basically about leaving the canvas um, as blank as you can for as long as you can until you know what you're doing with it um, but again it's just rounding up the edges really um, roughening up the edges rather um, um, and yeah I just do that over again and over again until the layers build up because it's, again it is like art I suppose in a way it's like painting it's putting layers and layers and layers um, just in 3D but you're adding and you're taking away and you're adding and taking away until eventually an organic sort of substance forms from it and that's the beauty of this I think and that's what I love about making maps in games and stuff is you can make it look so natural just by being you know random but with a certain order a certain pattern so if you can see I'm just clicking a few times three or four times in the general <coughs> direction but never trying to be too precise with it um, taking the edges down again just so there's a little you know gradient um, that's quite cool I like that and all these little areas are where you know rocks and coral will form and it'll it'll just in the end it looks so natural I think well, as natural as you can make it look in this game so far but I really do like this game um, and the reason I decided to do this video is because I still love making maps in this game but I wish there was more content to put in here like you can only make the maps and I do my best that I can with what there is but if there were just like a few different designs of palm trees and a few different models of this and a few different models of rocks and a few like the ability to put a waterfall in oh my god 
um, larger islands, if you could stitch like four of these tiles together and have an, an island where, you know, you go from like a rainforest to like a rocky outcrop or like a deserty kind of place, or oh, it'd be so cool. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So I go through that and then I go into the smooth tool with the smooth brush, put the size right up, put the amount quite low, and just go over it. Can you see what that does there? It just blends it all out. Um, and then, yeah, just go over that. I think I'll just go over it once for now because I'll go into it again later. Um, and with it being rough, it helps me see where everything's at and what everything looks like. Um, so that, that mechanic kind of works in that way, so I suppose that's a cool thing. Um, but yeah, just go over it, smooth everything, smooth everything down. Okay. So I'm hoping in the game you're not actually going to see because you're going to be stood, say, here. Yeah, you can't see it. You'll never notice that it's... You'll never be able to see it from that high up, so... And if... Um, we'll see what happens at the end won't we so okay right i'm going to start a bit more work on the island here so go up into the size tool and you want to put it on raise and i want to put the amount really low again to put the height of the um size of the brush quite high and just try and level this out in the middle so it's all kind of sandy there and i want to keep this really wet on the edges how should you do <laughs> and then uh, let's raise up a little bit in the middle a little bit there let's take the size down and then I'm going to use uh, this one again because this is a handy this is a handy little brush this is really good for getting organic um, organic shapes I'm actually going to use the height tool here and go for them there and bring this down and see the shape then going out here as well okay that's actually yeah let's have that going out there maybe a little bit that's pretty cool okay so that oh it's massive you don't really like realize how big of an area you're creating um but to have all this is like a nice shoreline way of looking out Uh, okay so the first thing I want to do when I've got it to this sort of stage is smooth <laughs> again um, take it to the bottom there. with the smooth tool I always use the smooth brush to smooth things with so actually make a massive blend everything together So I want to be looking, I'm going to actually start to shape this mound a little bit because if you can see here it's just raised, just the tiniest, tiniest little bit. So I want to start to put some definite shape into it before I put the rocks into it. So what I kind of do is make the structure of the rocks with the, the terrain and then put the rocks over the top of the terrain to, um, and then kind of use it as like... Um, like a texture basically over over the mound that I create so I uh, just want to go into this put the size right down again back to that put the amount up a little bit more that's more like it there we go so I'll say up there and I want to choose an area like this put the amount down again and go back to the oops that tool and kind of dig into that there we go <clears throat> so I want to make a I like to have a little flat area that I like to build in and I like to have that quite low and build it off the ground um, so we'll come down we'll check something drop something in the scale quickly I've got a raft I have a raft no. Um, what have we got? A door. Let's use a door. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to want it a bit bigger than that. Um, that's okay there. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's, let's have it going out a little bit more. Uh, that will crop there. No, let's have a few. Why not randomize the the shape a little bit? And then it just comes down to art again, you know, it's making interesting shapes, making kind of natural looking shapes maybe. Um keeping it random, let's smooth that over. There. Just the edges. So it looks worn. And this bit a lot. Okay, I'm actually going to raise this up a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Any that area. And then I'm going to go back to this. Put the amount down a little bit. Kind of raise these parts up to there. It's like a small mountain shape. Just pull it out at random parts, but always build up to it. Yeah, so as well. And that bit wants some more. So then, yeah, it looks quite organic. I'm going to pull this up some more too. Because I want that quite high, really. A little high patch there, maybe. Let's actually thicken that up some more. Outcrop, higher, lower, higher. Kind of something really, you know, just random. Just natural. It's all you're going for is. All I'm going for is is natural, natural kind of shapes. And back to the smooth tool, put the amount up a little bit more, and smooth all that down. <coughs> How's that looking? That's pretty cool. Right now. Next thing I like to do is go into the rocks, um, and I kind of just follow the shape of what I've made. Um, so I want to smooth this out a little bit more before we do this, just for case, just in case. There we go. That'll do. Um, so now we just smash the cliffs. We just. Oh no, no, I'm going to use the uh, big one first. Put the cliffs in. Again, you can see why I do this in time lapse because it just takes so long, and there's so much to um, so much to do, actually explain when you go through and do it all. Um, so yeah, I like to follow the shape of what I created. So if you can see here, that hill kind of. You know, it bumps up, and this rock happens to have a little, uh, a little rise to it, to an edge. So I'll bring that down, place it pretty much in the middle of that part there, and turn it a little bit. I think about there. And there we go. So, and then I go back down, and just have a look at how that looking at height, height-wise, and shade as well, because you've got to think about that now in the game. <laughs> Um, so that's creating quite a bit of shade. I'll have a look through um, and see, you know, loads of shade in the morning. Obviously, nothing's going to be shading in there, but the shade comes back again about there. So, this also, I use this when I'm putting plants down. So, I say, 
I look through the time and where the sun is on the island and um, that says to me where plants are more likely to grow um, and where they're not more likely to grow or what kind of plants are more likely to grow where so if they're in sunlight um, you're probably going to get more big trees um, lots of lots of undergrowth and stuff like that on the side of things where there's a lot of shade in the day um, you're going to be looking at more things like moss so more um, I, like, I like to put trees in the rocks and things like that so it looks like things growing off the rocks um, and smaller plants like maybe aloe or those little um, the little pee pee plants and the the other one I can't remember the name of it uh, <laughs> um, but it's all in the name of keeping it kind of natural thinking about you know the sunlight where things are going to go you know also how far in the water comes that could dictate where things grow because of the salt water um, so it's a, it's a lot of things to think about <laughs> um, <clears throat> but this is like, I'm, I'm not saying that you should you know you should do this this is just I'm saying if you want to create a, like a realistic island that's that feels natural and um, and like you actually like really immerses you in the game then you know these are some techniques I've I've worked out that um, actually help so <laughs> um, so look at that I think the height's right <clears throat> I'll just put another um, let's put a door down again so that's a door that height of a door aren't we yeah it feels alright that's pretty tall isn't it uh yeah, I'll say that's okay. Just delete that, uh, and then I just build up this area with uh, with more rocks, um, with more cliffs. Uh, so let's say let's take a long straight one and put that down there. Go in. Let's actually turn that this way. So it's like a step up. So yeah, you could. Um, you could then potentially climb all the way to the top of there and have a nice little lookout. <coughs> uh, so right there, because you want quite a bit of shade. That feel good. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. And then I kind of want to have. <coughs> um, I'll tell you what. Let's use. Let's use the big one again. And I want to take that over a little bit there, a little bit in, and then right down. So about there. Let's rotate a little bit more. About that. Might want to go in a bit more too. So say like there. And then we'll take another straight one. See, I use these. <coughs> these are the best pieces. They're the biggest pieces, so they're the best pieces for filling up lots of area at a time. <laughs> so I use these quite a lot actually usually to the maximum number that I can and then because I like to put rocks out in the sea as well when I'm putting like a shipwreck down I like to put a few of these around it so it looks like cliffs um, you sometimes get to the end and I haven't left so <laughs> uh, let's actually turn that around again and we'll lower it a little bit more this time there we go something like that so that's a nice little build up to that area and hopefully I think you should be able to watch the should you be able to climb that in these little so let's put another little cliff in here maybe this one drop that down because I'm sure you'll be able to get to there but so that I think you'll be able to climb up there yeah and get right to the top this, this part I'm not yeah you should be able to there yeah okay there's no clipping or anything, is there? No, that should be okay. <clears throat> so I'll just yeah, basically just fo follow these contours along. I'm gonna put another one, another one of these uh, long ones in here. 
maybe yeah, just there. Not that really low. <coughs> so just gonna widen that out with a couple of smaller pieces. Not that one, that one. Fan it up a bit. Quite low in. Let's change the time. Okay, let's rotate that. I'm going to actually just uh, clone that, bring it up there and rotate it again. <laughs> it's a very handy little thing for saving time in this game. Um, awesome. And then I'm going to have another piece, another long one coming out over here. Like that. Keeping the side quite low. Um, I'm actually going to have, because I haven't used this piece yet, I'm going to have this stand in here, I think. Like that. Like that tool. Right in the middle there. Yeah. And then. Some more. About there. And then let's put another one of these in. Let's rotate it so it looks a bit more natural and less repetitive. See, so yeah, I'm just going <coughs> to. To kind of kind of break up that, that up a little bit, just put little bits here and there breaking off. So, um, like there too. Let's rotate that. Bring that down just a bit. There we go. Right. <coughs> um, I think a couple more of these. Just there. Maybe this one. Like that. Should want to have a little gap there to put some trees in. So let's put that back a little bit. There you go. Right, that looks okay, I think. So far, right, let's get another long, um, another tall one. Let's put that there, rotate it. It's tedious work, you know, I can see why there's not a lot of people that make maps for games because it takes a hell of a long time, you know, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to speed through this a little bit. If I was just doing this, you know, for my own enjoyment, then I would, you know, spend a hell of a lot more time looking from every different angle and lots of different you know times of day you know how does that look how do the shadows look across the, the land oh, actually it works all right actually it's not too bad looks pretty cool you got this nice little area to build in so I am gonna go once I've established how much land there's gonna be and where the extent of the beaches are I'll then start to smooth this back a lot more um, to the actual shape of this island here um, so it's not just a big square but in case I want to like extend any like say here I might put some sort of big outcrop I don't know uh, possibly in the next episode um, but th that's why I leave that space there just so I think you know what this might come out a little bit more or there might be some outcrops in the sea or something so just whatever feels natural I go with and I just like to leave a big blank canvas for as long as I can um, so let's put another one of these there I oh, know this they 
these are good textures, good rocks, because you can use them in a lot of, in the, like, a lot of similar ways. And they don't tend to, I mean, look how natural that looks. You wouldn't guess that that's just like the same rock over and over again. Um, another one there. I think I'm going to put something else. Yeah, I might put one of these long ones in. So, yeah, exactly like that. Thank you. Like that. Let's change the time, but. Ooh, and there's a little gap. I could put like a tree in there too. Um, and in places like this, um, I like to take the smooth tool. Take the um, sorry, not the smooth tool, the height tool. And if I'm going to plant something in a little gap like that, take that, take it to the height of this place, smooth it out, level it off even. And then when it comes to putting little plants down and things, so let's just do a little sneak preview of that now. Um, you've got a nice flat base to put something on. So you just put it there and it's straight upright. That's how you want it to be. I don't know why the, the plants might mould to the shape of the terrain. It should always be straight up like this because plants always grow straight up, don't they? Towards the sun. Um, so you put, say I'll put that in there and then I'll put uh, one of these in. Well, that's not gone very upright, has it? Let's delete that. Let's try that again. Huh. Maybe I didn't do it very well. Oh well. Um, but yeah. Stuff like that. Little tips. So, um, that's pretty much the rock work. Um, Actually, what I do, something else I do like to do if we're just going to do the rocks in this episode, um, is uh, take some of the shoreline rocks, these ones, and just put them around at the base of the places randomly. Um, you know, maybe have them leading down. Just so it kind of looks like they've worn off in time or fallen down. Um, but also, because it gives you all these little gaps. Um, that you can plant in and it looks awesome planting between the rocks it makes it look really natural um, so do that there I'm going to rotate them just a little bit Ooh. Like that. when it comes to putting these down it can take you know just a few hours just to put rocks down like this um, if you're going to rotate each one which really you, you do kind of want to do <laughs> Um, but then you know just sort of there there go on the back side and do it as well just like that you can always come in at a later stage and rotate a few you know so go ahead and put a few of these in um, towards the edges, uh, if we got little bumps like this, little bits of land, um, you can either plant those or, I mean, you can put some of these in too. So actually put a couple around the sides and then use this shoreline rock on the edge. Uh, just drop that down a little bit, rotate it, just put it like that. Um, you know, they're cool as well, I should put one of those over here too. Like that, drop it down a little bit more. Boom. That was cool. Now there is, you know, there's quite a few things on here, and you got to give it to the guys that are making this <coughs> game because there's not. I don't think there's many of them doing it, and considering how much. You know how many assets they've got in here, how many models of things, it's pretty good. But I would love to see a few more models of trees that will perhaps bring back some of the old ones, the, the curved ones, because they were awesome. Um, but I do actually like these uh, these new trees that are in here, actually. Um, yeah, 
uh, which one is it? It's viscous tree two. I like this tree right here. It reminds me of a bonsai tree. But I think that looks really cool. And when you stick a couple of them uh, together, about there, and it goes back a little bit just so it's in itself. There we go. And then rotate it. You can come up with a, you know, pretty awesome tree. That's pretty cool, you know. Little things that I've learned to do. <laughs> and now you have too. So, um, for the rock work, is that it? Oh, I'm going to put one more down here, actually. One of these on ones again. And have it going the other way. Right down. Let's bring it right over as well. Just gonna tip that oh I'm gonna tip that forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There. Do you know what actually let's have this you know, let's have this at an angle too. Shall I tip forward like that? It's different. It's not something I usually do. What like oh, if we have that tip forward with hey, let's have a let's have a look at this. If we put uh, not that one, if we use one of these. Hmm. Oh, we actually put that in. I kind of want it look it like it's lean, leaning on another on another rock. Let me just try this one then. Don't want to use the same one twice. That was all. But if it looks okay, it kind of does. Let's see if we can exaggerate this angle a little bit. There we go. And then. That looks pretty cool. Might just beef up the base of that there to hide that. Like that there. Yeah, I like that. I'm keeping that. Um, and then one of these, not that one. Uh, this one on the base. And that's how that tilted. Forward that way. So like that, yeah. Yeah, uh, I want to beef this side up a little bit too. Let's use this one. Let's have that pulled forward a little bit too. So it's yeah, it's matching. Or oh, it's broken. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Hey, that looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, let's. Oh, I just want to finish this off with a couple of these. Uh, let's use that one too, right there. Rotate it. Let's rotate this as well while we're here. And this one. That looks all right. Okay, so that's like, I consider time to have a little break. <laughs> so um, that's the rock work pretty much done. When I'm doing more um, decoration with the plants, I just see what works and what if I need to put any more in, I'll put some more in. And then of course, when I'm working on the shoreline as well, um, say if we have like little drop offs like this, put some rocks in down here as, as well. Like, if I've got enough left over so that's that pretty much so far um, stay tuned for the next episode where I'll be doing the, the the vegetation work and possibly then putting a the shipwreck in getting the getting the shape of the island uh, down um, okay so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one